Good morning. I'm having my morning coffee. The sun is just coming up. I'm on the East Coast, so I'm not doing this live because nobody's awake. <laughs> but I wanted to have some coffee with you in a morning conversation. I got no makeup on. It's just my morning. You and I, like, we're sitting here together, okay? But I wanted to talk with you about affirmations. Um, I'm talking self-love. We've done some conversations around forgiveness in the past month, self-love. And affirmations might be something that you use. I don't know. But it might be something that you might use um, to, to try to get yourself to, to the things that you want. And here's why they may not be working. That's what I really wanted to talk with you about. Because I tried affirmations years ago. And I kept feeling, I would feel a little bit better after I would write them down. Like, yeah. But then I would notice nothing's really changing. The things that I was writing were not coming true or you know happening. And in the course of my journey, becoming a whole life coach is one of the credentials that I have and one of the tools that I use. And I use um, something called healing codes through that training. And what I learned in that program is that affirmations are happening at a conscious level, right? I think a thought and I write it down. Um, I have a million dollars in the bank. I have all the money that I need and could want, or my body looks amazing and I have tremendous energy, whatever you might be writing affirmations about. And that, that's happening at a conscious level, right? You think the thought, what do I wanna have happen? And you write it. However, below your consciousness, which is only about 5% of you, the rest of you is subconscious. The rest of you is really memories and beliefs that have been stored in your body and in your spirit your whole life. Most of them originated in your childhood. So if you have memories and beliefs that are the opposite of your affirmations and I'm here to say that you do or that issue would not be a problem in your life. It would not be an issue that you'd be writing affirmations about, right? The fact that you are going to work on it means there's something there that you wish were different. But it's your subconscious and it's the memories that are in the cells of your body that are really determining what you have. So what happens is the affirmations end up making you feel even more stressed because over time, you don't really see that happening. And then, and then it's upsetting. And, and when you're consciously saying something that your subconscious does not believe, that causes an internal stress in your body, which is one of the biggest issues. So as a whole life coach and with healing codes, we go to work on healing those subconscious memories and beliefs. And that's really critical. So it's the belief of things don't happen for me, only for other people. Or I'm not good enough. I have to be perfect. I have to be better. Or if it's around money, money is really hard to get. Money is not available for everyone. I don't know, whatever your thing is, right? I'm just trying to pick some common ones. If you hold that belief based on what you were taught in childhood, based on some decisions that you made a long time ago, and that's your subconscious, the affirmations are not going to work. So you want to really pay attention. And sometimes it's not readily available to see. What are my core beliefs? What do I hold in my body? What was I taught as a child? What did I decide as a child? What happened to me that made me decide something that now I hold in my body as true and my subconscious lives there? It will not matter what your conscious does. So don't beat yourself up if, if uh, affirmations haven't worked. That is a core reason why. And if you know that you've got some subconscious beliefs and you know that you hold memories from childhood, things that happened that changed how you see yourself and how you see the world, 
that's where you want to go to work. I can help you with that. But um, either way, just know that the affirmations are only going to take you so far. And that'll probably be about a half hour after you say them or write them. You'll feel good. And then everything else will shut down again. All right, so self-love. I'm sure we're going to have some morning coffee again together because it feels fun for me. If you don't care about the no makeup and the early morning voice, I don't care. <laughs> so let's do it again together. And um, yeah, let me know if you do watch this, if you've tried some affirmations and how that's worked for you. Or let me know if you've got some core beliefs that you think are at play, but you're not sure, or you know for sure, and you don't know how to, how to heal them. Okay? Have a great day.